Hi team, we're gonna do another phoneme segmentation question. I have a diagram of the sound boxes on the top just to help us out. Um, this is the actual question itself. The question doesn't include a sound box. I just wanted to throw it in there just to, just to help us as we do the, the problem, okay? But take a moment now, take one minute and read the question and then we'll talk about it, okay? Uh, pause the video and read that question, go ahead. Unpause. It says number two on the 190 test, which is a great test to look at if you're a reading specialist, teacher taking the 190, a teacher doing a RECA test, uh, a teacher taking the science of teaching reading. It's a great practice exam to look at. The questions are challenging and it's, a, it's one of those newer exams. This one here says, a teacher is selecting words to use to assess students. So it could be an assessment question. A student's ability to segment the individual phonemes and in spoken words. So look, this question here, it could fall under assessments, right? And it could also fall under uh, phonological and phonemic awareness. This one would be a, a phonemic awareness question involving segmenting sounds in spoken language, right? Okay, it says, which of the following words would require the highest level of skill with regards to orally segmenting phonemes? So again, we, we're seeing that that's, that's the idea. They're like, okay, we're testing you on segmenting phonemes in a word. They, they say that phrase twice, essentially, right? And which we're looking for the one that's going to be the toughest, the hardest. So what does that mean? We're looking for the word with the most amount of phonemes, right? So if we go back a step here, remember this one here? The word with the most amount of phonemes was scratch. Scratch had s, k, r, a, ch. It had five phonemes. Okay, so that would technically be the hardest one. So let's go. Let's 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 go back here. Let's look at each one of these, and we'll, we'll use our our uh, we'll use our sound boxes to help us. The first word is stamp. How many sounds do you hear in stamp? Let's see. I'm hearing a s, t, e, m, p. It's actually five. Is that right? Five distinct sounds. S, t, e, m, p. These blends each have two. Okay. How about catch? Catch. Well, you're you're probably saying I hear a k, a, ch. Just three. This one only has three. Now, which one's harder? If we're talking about uh, if hard has to do with, uh, if we're talking about, um, if hard has to do with the number of sounds in the word, then it's stamp. Stamp has five distinct phonemes as opposed to catch. When, when some teachers, they look at this, they're like, no, no, no. Catch is the hard one. Stamp's an easy word. That's not, you're looking at it incorrectly. You're looking at it from a, a phonics perspective. And, and, and the way that you, if you look at it from a phonics perspective, yeah, sure. Stamp would be the easier one because blends are easier than clusters. This type of cluster has three consonants that make up one sound. We call that a trigraph. Three letters that make up one sound is a trigraph. So yeah, from a phonics perspective, catch is a harder word to decode than stamp. But from, um, from a sound perspective, when we look at the sounds, the individual phonemes in the word, Stamp is the hardest one because it has five distinct sounds. Let's keep going. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Only three, right? Now, you, again, you might be like, that would be the harder one to teach in phonics. Yes, but but in terms of sounds, fudge, it's only got three sounds. It's not that hard. Uh, how about chase? Same thing. Chase, ch, a, s, only three sounds. So essentially, these words here, now, while they're more advanced, one, these are harder ones in terms of phonics, these words, B, C, and D, they all have this three phonemes. That's the same as the CVC word, right? CVC words like cat have three sounds. K, at, t. So from a sound perspective, um, catch, fudge, chase, cat, they're, they are equally as hard. They're each, all these words are made up of three sounds. Are you hearing me? Uh, no pun intended. I know right now uh, we are just looking at this in terms of a sound activity. 
And from a sound activity, catch, fudge, chase, cat only have three, I'm sorry, three sounds, right? Stamp, believe it or not, is the hardest one in terms of the amount of phonemes in it. So that's why that's that would be the one that would take the highest level of skill in terms of orally segmenting the phonemes. The answer is A. Great, great question. And this is uh, this is this answer A is from that that reading test, the 190 test. Encourage everyone to take a look at it. Let's look at some of the words we talked about: phoneme, phoneme segmentation, ph uh, phonemic structure. We're, and and we're looking at there was other things here too that I didn't put in this question. Um, orally segmenting phoneme. So we're orally segmenting, meaning um, this is a a sound activity where we're we're doing it orally. So um, so it, it doesn't necessarily mean that these, uh, that these words are written out. The teacher could have just said, how many sounds do you hear? They could have orally said, how many sounds do you hear in stamp? And then you would orally have to segment them. So there would be no letter sound correspondence. It would just be taking what you hear and identifying how many sounds make up that word. So in this case, stamp has got the most amount of sounds. So that's the hardest. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we got another really good one, so let's check it out, okay? Let's keep going. 